Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Andres Fernandez coming at you today. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about hygiene. Now, there's nothing worse than going to a dance studio to take a class, or if you're going out social dancing and you're you're connecting with somebody for the very first time, and the first thing you get is a sweaty arm or a whiff of the worst BO that you can ever possibly imagine. Uh, first impressions last forever, right? Uh, this is very much a contact dance. And with that being said, to respect the other person, and obviously, of course, their, their senses, their emotions, you have to mind who you are as a person and what naturally happens, obviously, of course, when we're dancing and we're out and things happen. So it, 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 it's never too, it should never be underemphasized the idea of bringing another shirt or wearing deodorant or bringing, having mints in your back pocket. This goes for both men and women understanding. Again, it's not so much about you, but more so the respect of the other person that you're interacting with because the enjoyment of the social dance that you have um, is dependent 100% as well as the experience that your partner is having as well. And if things like things that can be ex extremely easily controlled, uh, such as the hygiene is an influence, then uh, then this there's there's a major issue. Uh, something like this should be knocked out from the get go because something something so small, so easily controlled should never affect um, the magic that can really happen on, on a dance floor. So definitely, like I said, um, major points, having mints, bringing an extra shirt, wearing deodorant, cologne, all that kinds of stuff. Normally you should have in your car, whether you're going out or whatever the case is, just so again, all of these types of things, um, can be avoided. So thanks so much. I'm Dennis Fernandez signing out.